they have constant pain. Um, they have more most pain in the morning, and then the morning is terrible. It's difficult to get out of bed. Then the pain eases off, you know, during the day. You know, it's still there. It's always there. And then it can, you know, late afternoon they'll come when they cook their dinner. It'll be horrible, you know. And in the evening they cannot sit together with their spouse and watch a movie in the television or something, you know, because it's it's so painful. And the nights are horrible. Um, it's very very difficult to get a good night's sleep. It's very difficult to turn over in bed. You know, you know, you can imagine the fractures. They go, you know, against each other. Um, and then morning again is 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 painful. So it's a it's what we call a fluctuating disease. Some days are good, some days are bad. It's also very typical that uh, exercises make the pain worse, and that's very hard for physiotherapists to accept because we are you know we brought up with exercises are good, and and they are in you know very 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 at most <laughs> uh, situations. But just when you have this acute period of motor changes where before they get the treatment, then exercises is not good. So it's a, it's very painful to bend over forwards. Movement in the back is painful. And it's very different from other kind of motor, other kind of back diseases. Like if you have a derangement, as you call it in McKinsey, for example, you know, you'll have a periodical pain and then you'll get treatment and it'll go away and then the patient will be fine again. It's just like a cold, you know, you can have a cold and then it's bad for a period and, you know, it's horrible, you know, and then after a while it goes away and then you have good for a period, but it's never that way with motor changes. They have continuous pain 